Asian Games. The action is slowly gathering momentum. We are inching towards the opening ceremony and there is much excitement in the air. Some more athletes have crossed over to Hangzhou after finishing their national commitments and other tournaments. Let's first get you up to speed with what some of the Indian athletes have been up to who were in action right up till this evening. A roundup coming your way. Indian athletes are striving to do their best at the Asian Games and their hard work is coming to fruition. The Indian women's cricket team progressed to the semi-finals. Their quarter-final against Malaysia was called off due to rain. They qualified to the semis owing to their higher seeding. Rains forced the match to be reduced to a 15-over affair. India scored 173 for two in 15 overs and Malaysia were at one run before rain stopped play. Under-19 world champion Shifali Verma was the top scorer. She posted a whopping 67 runs of just 37 balls. In football, after a rough opener, there's some breath of fresh air for the Indian team. They beat Bangladesh in their second group match. Sunil Chetri came to the rescue of the Blue Tigers. He scored the only goal in the match in the 84th minute. India keep their chances of going to the round of 16 alive. They'll take on Myanmar in their final group match on Sunday. Moving on to volleyball, India upset South Korea 3-2 in a five-set thriller. India had lost their first set, India rallied back and won the next two sets. The Korean men's team, who are three-time champions, leveled the score to take it to a decider. India held on to stun the much-fancied Korean team. The Indian rowing team also had an impressive start. Arjun Lal Jutt and Arvind Singh came second in the lightweight men's double skulls event. Compatriots Satnam Singh and Parminder Singh have also qualified for the final. The women's team also had a stellar start. Kiran and Anshika Bharti, the Indian lightweight women's double skulls duo, progressed to the Repeshag round. Let's talk about volleyball then, shall we? Three countries have dominated the sport. Japan have secured 27 podium finishes with 16 goals. China follows close with 11 goals. Korea is the third most successful nation, five gold medals. The sport has had a rich history. Men's volleyball was first introduced in 1958. India came in third back then, led by Gurudev Singh. India beat Hong Kong and Philippines but couldn't get past Iran and Japan. The Indian men, after that stirring performance in the inaugural edition, have only managed to win three medals in this discipline so far. Their best performance came way back in 1962, where they were runners-up, losing once again to Japan. 1982, at the Asia hosted in India, they came close to the podium, coming in fourth. 1986 is when they pocketed their third medal in the sport. A team that is touted to have been India's best till date. Led by a charismatic Cyril Valur, team poster of current coach Sridharan, Uday Kumar and P.V. Sindhu's father, P.V. Ramana. That's 37 years ago. A massive medal drought in a sport that we had done well in. Things have started looking up after the induction of the Pro Volleyball League in 2019, which was a resounding success. The team may not have qualified for the 2020 Olympics, but there is a renewed interest in the sport thanks to this league. And of course, the performance in the Asian Games so far.